voices frequency has broke cool to a similar as they turn it's just people sharing stories and so that's what you're going to hear tonight real people real stories and that's where you get the real inspiration you see every winter i would get invaded by mice i know i know but you get used to it you know and i have this really i have this large collection of traps i have all sorts of potions and and you know i know how to keep my mice under control it was a secret i hid all the traps when people were coming over to visit me I didn't tell people about it, but you know, like I could, I, I could live with this. Every now and then, someone would fess up that they had mice. And we would just have the most wonderful time sharing about how we felt about flushing the little buggers down the toilet. She said, when you are given a label, you are put inside a box. And that box is basically defined by certain criteria and that's what makes it, you know, so for example, if you have ADD, there are certain criteria that says that you have ADD, and that's what defines that box. She's like, no, no, I'm having a baby! And they got to the maternity floor and took off the blanket, and what do you know? There I was. <laughs> so she said, whatever you do, don't tell my husband he's gonna kill me! We're only supposed to have one! Because they were only 21 years old at the time, and they already had my brother at home. And um, so when my dad finally arrived from the factory, the nurses were really crazy with the excitement because it was so unusual. And uh, he said, they were like, Mr. Schreiner, you've got twins, you've got twins. And he said, uh, uh, I think you got the wrong guy. I'm not supposed to have one. She goes in for surgery on her stomach because she's having a terrible time with ulcers. And she dies. She's 47 years old and she dies. Now, I didn't know what to do. You know? I'm almost 20 years sober at that point. That was going to be the big deal. I was going to have her give me my 20, you know, once a year in AA, you know, they give you a chip, you know, for to celebrate whatever year it is. And I was going to have her give me my 20 years and, and she died. So I answered a call to volunteer at a socially responsible jewelry factory in Peru. They needed help telling Western tourists about their jewelry, but also about the poor, unskilled workers that they hire and give them free training to become skilled artisans with a chance at a better life. The waiter offered me dessert. He said, you like fortune cookie? <laughs> I give you best fortune cookie. Bigger cookie, bigger fortune. <laughs> so I cracked the cookie open and I read the message, my fortune. And it said, life is a game. Play it. What? <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? I just got dumped by my girlfriend. I'm not a player, I'm a good guy. That voice's frequency has broke. Cool to a similar as they turn away. We, we have a lot of fun here at Mom Mondays. We have a lot of fun, yes? Yes. But I'll tell you, there's a, there's a, um, I'm not, I don't know whether to say a more serious, but certainly a more altruistic part of what we do at Mo Mondays. And I truly believe that the more we share our personal stories, the more we shift the consciousness of the societies that we live in to be more authentic, to be more caring.